closer look at fashion at RHS. And it's time to think about being part of Unified Bowling. We are Richmond, and we are... Hi, I'm Xavier Cardis. Around RHS, just like any high school, students like to create a lot of different fashion looks. Jocelyn Dryden takes a closer look at what some students do to shape their fashion. And today we're going to be going through the high school and interviewing kids on their outfits and seeing the inspiration behind it and seeing how much they cost if they're willing to tell. And I'm here with Cameron and today we're going to be going through his, out his outfit and his inspiration and the fit. So what was the inspiration? The inspiration was Pinterest. That's where I get all my fashion inspiration from. So Cute. Pinterest. Yeah. How much does the outfit cost? Outfit cost, uh, batting on a budget, three dollars, probably like five, fifteen, and then sixty something probably. I think. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next person. Hi, I'm here with Ariana, and today we're gonna be talking with her about her inspiration and the outfit she's wearing, and how much it costs. She's willing to tell. Hi, how are you today? Good. All right. What was the inspiration between the outfit today? Going like classy but casual at the same time. Not too much, not too little. Yeah, putting the mashing the two um, trends together, cute. Love that. Um, how much did the outfit cost? Cost if you want to tell. The flannel was from Goodwill, so I'd say around like five bucks. This was from Shein, around five, seven bucks. My jeans, probably Goodwill too, like ten bucks. My Air Forces, ninety, and then I got my rings from Shein. I got this one for my therapist. Mm -hmm. Cute, you self hair. <laughs> all right, well, that was Ariana for today's outfit. And thank you for everyone I interviewed and for On the Air. I'm Jocelyn Jordan. Have a great day. It's time for some class highlights. Before we get to sports, here's a few reminders. It's time to think about being part of the RHS Unified Bowling Team. The team went all the way to state last year, and if you'd like to participate, you will need a physical form on file in the Athletic Office. Paperwork is available in the Athletic Office or Room R135. You must have your physical form completed by November 14th. For more information, see Mrs. Avery in R135. Seniors, don't forget about School is Cool, your chance to win a car with perfect attendance. The rules are a little different this year, with tardies counting as well. You can only have two tardies each semester. Work hard and maybe you could win the car next spring. D&D Club is now meeting every Wednesday and Thursday after school in the cafeteria. Don't forget that bowling tryouts have been extended through next Tuesday and Wednesday. Anyone wanting to bowl for RHS, be at 40 lanes by 415 each day. Now let's get to the Red Devils sports report. A big win by girls soccer, but we start with another great showing for RHS cross country. The boys took runner-up in the large school division at Marion over last weekend, with RHS putting four runners in the top 35. Once again, Alex Orihuela led the way with a 12th place finish, and Ethan Miller finished 18th. Miller had a personal best time, as well as the 28th finisher, Grayson Farmer. The girls struggled as a team with an 11th place finish against a tough competition, but had standout performances by two runners earning medals. Lizzie Graham with an 8th place finish and Keena Barker with in 27th. Both teams now get some time off this weekend and next week with their next match not until next weekend at Centerville. Congratulations to girls soccer for a big NCC win late last week when they beat Anderson 7 to nothing. And RHS athletes are in action in a number of matches with football starting things off tonight on the road at Lafayette Jeff. Tomorrow boys tennis and boys soccer travels to Marion while girls soccer hosts the Giants here. Make sure to get out and support the Lady Red Devils for their match, which starts at 12.30. We close sports today wishing girls golf good luck in the NCC Conference match coming up this Monday. That's sports. I'm Gabriel Daw Dawson. Now back to you, Xavier. Good luck to all the teams in action this weekend. For On the Air, I'm Xavier Cardis.